Hi again, this is Dave at AFX, reaching out to our colleagues in the investigative and abstracting industries, taking a look at how to build a client base through marketing and advertising. Uh, you may look back on your last year's, in this case, 2012 uh, business. How much did you do? How many clients did you serve? How much income did you take in? And look at that as a big you know, pile of a book of business and want to expand on that. Remember one thing. Um, that each all that revenue together represented a multiple number of individual clients and the point of that is mass marketing isn't the same as massive marketing you can do marketing and advertising to expand your reach but remember it's still a one at a time transaction with each client you can't, you're not speaking to a crowd you're not speaking to you know thousands of people at once each communication you have is with one individual person so you want to make sure that your message is designed to resonate with one person or one company or one client that you're talking to not try to reach out to a Super Bowl you know crowd at the same time because um, that's not really who you're talking to each person is going to make their decision individually and you want to make sure that that person feels like they're being spoken to directly and not just part of a crowd because that's not what you're selling to is a crowd. Um, try to walk their sales process through before and after. The point of them engaging with you as an investigator or an abstractor, back up a month or week or a year to find out what their needs are and how it got to the point where they called you that day or they reached out to you that day. And then after that, walk them through in your mind what they're going to do with your results. If they get a title abstract from you, what are they going to do next with it? Are they going to use it for some business process? Are they going to use it for a foreclosure auction? That will help you adjust that communication with them to meet their needs uh, in the best possible way. The same with an investigation. Once you hand that investigative report to the client, what are they going to do with it next? Are they going to use it in court? Are they going to use it for uh, maybe some make a life decision, uh, maybe to prosecute somebody stealing from their business? Think about what they're going to use it for, so you can adjust your communication with them, your customer service, and the professional, excellent care you're going to give that person to match what their needs are. So, looking back before they need the ser the uh, the service, and looking after they get the service to see how individually that's going to help them. And again, you can do massive marketing and and do it in bigger volumes and spend more on business development, advertising, marketing, whatever you want to call it. But don't confuse that with mass marketing, trying to um, sell to the masses all at once. You're selling to one person at a time and they're going to appreciate the fact that you're taking their interests personally because each client is slightly different than the last. They may ask the same questions, they may all need a current owner search or they may need surveillance or they may need um, some type of background check but each client has a different use for it and they're not looking from you for that product. They're not looking for surveillance, they're actually looking for what the results of that surveillance are. Keeping that in mind will really help build a connection with that client and increase the number of clients that you have in your successful book of business.